So this is Bones. Bones was a prop that I had in my classroom when I was a teacher. And when I retired, I put him on the front seat of my Jeep to bring him home. And that's where he's been ever since. Uh, he just rides around town with me. I get a lot of stares. People uh, start laughing. They're curious. They take pictures of him. Um, so it's been pretty fun to have next to me in the Jeep. So what I thought I would do is I would try and animate his head by putting a servo motor inside uh, connected to his neck so that he could look around while I'm driving. So what I've done is I've cut open part of his skull that's covered by this right now. Um, and then I 3D printed some gears attached to a servo mount inside. And then all of the wires um, come through a copper neck that I put in here. It's just a half inch copper pipe that you can't see. And then it goes down through his body and then comes out to this box. And this is a 3D printed uh, box that I designed. It holds a microcontroller inside and a battery. So uh, the battery powers the microcontroller, which is an Arduino Nano right inside of there. Um, and then he's got four switches on the front and uh, one switch on the back. So let me just cover this up here. And you can see uh, the first switch just powers him up. Um, the second switch um, is for a uh, low amount of movement. So if he does, I don't want Bones to have a very high activity level, uh, then I will activate that switch there. Um, and if I want him to have a medium amount of movements, his head turning medium amount of times, I'll do that switch. And if I want him to be quite animated, I will turn on that switch there and he will move his head around quite frequently. At any time, I can push this override. This is uh, an interrupt. And I can just push that and he will stare out the window at anybody that may be looking at him. Uh, right now, I've got this connected to a wall adapter um, going to a power outlet right here. But it's actually going to be plugged into uh, one that just plugs into a cigarette outlet in your car to power the servo motor that goes all the way up into his skull. So I'm just going to turn him on. You can take a look and see what he looks like when he activates. When I first turn him on, he's got a startup routine where he looks straight ahead, then one side to the other before he starts his little routine. So I'll just turn on the switch here. Watch him set up that center. To the right, to the left, and now he'll start moving randomly. So Bones has three randomnesses random movements <laughs> programmed into his head. The first one is you don't know where he's going to look. So that's a random position. Uh, the second one is uh, the speed that he's going to move his head at. So that that changes. You're not really sure if he's going to move quickly or slowly. And then also the time between his movements is random as well. So with those three random movements, it kind of makes him look more realistic. So uh, now he's going to be put in the front seat of my Jeep. And then he'll be able to drive around with me and look around and maybe stare at people that might be looking at him. By the way, BONE stands for Battery Operated Navigating Electronic Sidekick.